The foundation involvement in this seafood festival is that we are collaborating with the University of the West Indies, their marine lab, to put on a complete display here of the lionfish. About a year ago, we um, launched our Eat Them to Beat Them lionfish program with the University of the West Indies. Scotiabank launches Scotia Goes Green on Lionfish in support of the University of the West Indies. And at that time, Rainforest came on big. Came on big because it's, you know, it affects all of us in terms of land fish. They came on really to support the cause. And it's now become a great triangle, a great, a great three-way partnership. It's, it's a wonderful addition to being able to exploit this, this predator. A vehicle such as the one we've just gotten from Scotiabank allows us to move the entire team with all their equipment from location to location in a very nice and neat fashion. So this is gonna help us make a major dent in removing landfish, public education about landfish, and trying to move forward. Since then, we've had a very close collaboration, and now we're here at the Rainforest Seafood Festival, which is all proceeds are to help raise funds for the Cornwall Regional Hospital. Now, us in Western Jamaica rely on Cornwall Regional Hospital, which is there to service at least 500,000 people, and it needs all the help it can get to do that properly. Social Foundation has been involved with the Cornwall Regional Hospital since 1998 when we established the hemodialysis unit there. It's a very costly unit and so this opportunity to raise some additional funds to go towards the hospital is something that we thought was good to do. So far we see a lot of people coming out and supporting it so it will just add a little bit more to our contribution to the hospital. Because we got such a great response from Corporate Jamaica we can guarantee five million dollars. Scotiabank's booth at the Rainforest Seafood Festival is by far the most popular. We have live cooking demonstrations showing people how to prepare land fish. We can steam it. Yes, you can. We can fry it. Anything you want. Okra and cracker. Anything you want. We should share it. Anything. The University of the West Indies Marine Lab has a tour today. We have what's known as the SS Scotia, which is a submarine. And persons of all ages are going through and being educated by the Marine Lab. So you go through the submarine, you're able to see live samples of the lionfish, as well as other sea creatures. When you exit the submarine, you get a taste of the lionfish. I learned a little bit about some of the fishes in our waters, especially the lionfish, um, that it's really consuming of natural um, fishes, and um, we need to eat them or they'll eat all of our fishes. As you know, there's a fear of the lionfish, but this is a, is a nice introduction. I do like it. I find it to be a very diverse fish. I mean, they do it in, in soups. Um, she should add coconut to it now. It's really, really good. It's meatier. It's nice. I think a little bit more fleshy. You get more for the value of your money if you're buying it. I think it would actually be a nice fish to cook down with some okra and carrot and, and, and crackers. Delicious. I like it. The flavor is wonderful. It is really doing a damage to fishery and all of that. So if we can try to find a way to eliminate it, what better way to do it than to eat it and enjoy it? Since one year of launching this Lionfish Partnership with Scotia Bank, is that we have been able to convince more people to consume lionfish, the benefits of consuming lionfish to our native marine life. And right now, our surveys have been showing that the lionfish population is actually decreasing in many areas around Jamaica, and that's a real positive sign. It shows that local control, meaning small areas where you hit the lionfish very hard, very consistently, and you take them out of the water as frequently as you can, can make a difference. And the numbers are going down, we just need to keep that trend going. As a look for fans, because they know who are eating off the lionfish. Well, you know, personally, thank you for eating off so much lionfish, boss. So this partnership with Scotiabank is definitely making a positive impact. Next week on The Teller. This is one of three schools that we'll be doing. We're now here at Highgate. We'll be moving on to Belfield, where we'll be doing a chicken coop. Hurricane blew away the structure along with the chickens that were in there. So we'll be doing the structure from ground floor up. 
The Teller was brought to you by Scotiabank Group.